What's going on guys? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. For today's project, we got these super cooked Air Jordan 6 Gatorades that need a lot of work. We're gonna go in, give the shoe a proper deep clean, remove the yelling from the soles, repaint the sneaker, and do anything else needed to make the shoe look brand new again. So without further ado, let's get it started. To start this project off, we're gonna put the shoe to the side for before and after purposes. Next, we're only gonna be focusing on the sole. We're gonna squirt some solution into our bowl of water. For this step, our tool of choice is gonna be our brass bristle brush. The reason why I'm using this brush over the stiff bristle brush is because we're gonna get faster and better results on this rubber. Soles have been scrubbed down. Now we're on to removing the yelling from the sole. One thing to keep in mind is this shoe has been extremely worn down to the ground. In the back air, there's a lot of heel drag going on. Same thing with the upper, it's completely toasted. So I'm not expecting to get these back to 100% clear. It's just not gonna happen. It's gonna tap out at a certain point. So what we're gonna do is apply a nice thin coat of our shoe and revive onto the clear soles. Once that's applied, we'll apply our saran wrap to keep it fresh. Then we'll put them in the Vic 2000. Got the shoes out of the VIX 2000. They look great. On the way over here, I got mad love from the entire company on my shoes. Shout out to Kicksroll for lacing me up on my 700s. Check them out at kicksroll.com. We got the shoe out of the indoor setup. After about five days, these are the results. After day number four, the soles kind of tapped out, meaning I stopped getting results. This is as good as you're gonna get. They're not gonna be icy icy. I explained that earlier, but I'm happy with these results. I'll show you guys a nice before and after later on in this video. Right now we're gonna focus on the cleaning. We're gonna be using our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit. We're gonna start off by taking out our laces, taking out our insole, and putting in our shoe tree. Yeah, we're not taking out that insole. That thing is glued in. So let's just go straight into the shoe tree. Next, we're gonna grab our four ounce bottle of solution and squirt two squirts in our bowl of water. Let's get into it. The first brush we're gonna be using is our soft bristle brush to start breaking down the grime and dirt on the uppers and insides. So far, so good, you guys. We do got a couple of spots on the uppers, but we'll take care of that later. The next brush we're gonna be using is our medium bristle brush. For this brush, we're gonna take care of the midsoles and soles. We're not gonna worry about using the stiff bristle brush because I already used it in the beginning of the video. We're just gonna wipe off the sole revive. Shoes are fully dried, we got a clean base to work with. The next step we gotta do is reset the nap on the suede. Right now it's really crunchy and stiff. We're gonna be using our rejuvenated brass bristle brush to hit the entire shoe. We wanna get it back to its original buttery texture. When we do this, it's gonna pull a lot of that color out, but that's okay. We'll take care of that later. When I'm brushing on the upper, I'm gonna be very careful to not damage the shoe. All done resetting the nap on the suede, but it still needs some work. On the inside of the shoe, there's a weird mark, and there's a couple other marks throughout the shoe as well that just didn't come out during the cleaning. Something was spilled on the shoe. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but we're gonna try to sand it off. There's also a little nick on the toe box where the material's kind of coming up. So for this, we're gonna be using some 400 grit and some 600 grit to sand it all off. All done with the sandpaper method, the suede looks great. 
throughout the entire shoe, there were small stains. All of those are completely gone. I'm really happy with this method. If you guys ever have stains on your suede and it doesn't come out with the regular cleaner, try using the sandpaper method. Now, we're gonna continue the prep work onto the midsoles now. Over here in this area, there's some pretty deep scratches and scuffs on the paint. We wanna get it nice and smooth. So for this, we're gonna be using some sandpaper once again. We're gonna start off with the 600 and work our way up to the 800 and use the 1000 if we need to. All done with the prep work on the midsole, it was really this area that needed work and this back piece. The orange on the midsole doesn't need any work at all. It's not cracking, it's not chipping or peeling, so it makes no sense to remove that paint. So we're only gonna be working on the green. For this paint mix, I use several different colors. I don't always mix green, so it's kind of tougher on my end. So for this, I use green, dark green, light green, olive, avocado, and white. Not a very hard mix. I just added a little bit of each green into this jar and finished it off with some white. Now let's lay it down with an angular brush. Midsole repaint is complete. Off camera, I applied a finisher to protect the paint. Now we're back onto the suede. For the suede, we'll be using some Rejuvenator Mink Oil. What this stuff does is it brings back the color on the suede. We're also gonna be using our brand new Rejuvenator Horsehair Brush to push in the mink oil into the material. Minko is applied, now let's lace them up. Boom. That's gonna wrap it up, you guys, on this full restoration on these Jordan 6s. This restoration turned out great. At first, I thought I was gonna have to sit here and explain why the sole was still yellow, why some of the stains on the uppers didn't wanna come out, but honestly, all that stuff came off nicely. Let's take it from the top. The very first step I did was clean up the sole to get it ready for the sole revive. We applied sole revive for four to five days straight in the indoor setup and got these icy results. As you can see, we got some great results on these soles. After that, we moved on to using our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit to give the shoe a proper deep clean and set it out. Then, there was still some stains throughout the shoe, so for that, we busted out the sandpaper to sand that stuff off. We jumped over to the midsoles, matched the green, and repainted this area nicely. After that, we had to touch up the uppers. The uppers were pretty faded, so for that, we used our Rejuvenator Mink Oil to bring back the color. You can find that stuff at Rejuvenator.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. Catch you guys next time. See you guys.